Hello there! In this tutorial we will go over how to create a knitted Christmas card in the form of a sweater. As you can see here, a hairy sweater to be more precise. So if we look at it, here we have the parameters. We can set the uh, scale and also the rows of the knittings. Zoom in a little bit and we go into pre-render mode. Turn off the hair so everything moves a little bit faster. I can change the amount of rows, as you can see here, to give it more knittings. X and Y axis. Uh, let's go back, and also we can set the scale. You can make it bigger or smaller if you want to make another size of your Christmas card. And then, of course, you have to set also the resolution of your uh, camera. Now it's in a perspective camera mode, but you can also put it in like the straight on orthographic. Click on the camera, this camera, then go here, it's orthographic. I zoomed it in exactly on this frame. So you have to then uh, change the camera settings, the resolution settings, if you want to make another sized uh, card. So if we go into the note group, here we have the parameters, toggle hairs, it's turned off right now. Uh, we can go here. First, uh, we make a grid. I can show you with a viewer node. Viewer node. And here you can see, first we just make a grid. And this grid, uh, you can set the amount of vertices or lines in the grid. X and Y axis and it will project on the vertices the uh, knitting loops. What we do here is we store the UV map off the grid uh, and by that we uh, we need to use that for our shader so we can put in uh, all the color data of every knit loop that it gets the right color. So next up we have a noise texture and we take the position set the position of the noise texture and with scene time we divide it by three and then with these settings of the noise texture and a map range we determine the flow of the grid so if we uh, put this here in viewer you can see there's a little wobble which is a textile uh, wind simulation noise if we uh, let the time, uh, timeline go, you see that the noise by the time is uh, scaling in the fourth dimension. So that's why it's wobbling. Scale, so we make it small, make it big. In here, the map range, you can make it go uh, higher, or you can make it go lower if you minus. And then it transforms it in the normal direction of the textile. So we set the position of all the vertices by the noise. That's what's happening here. So turn this off for a moment. We see here projected knitted loops. So here we go into the loops. And here you see uh, instances on point. So if we put that into the viewer node, here we get the object info Bezier curve, and that's actually here. Bezier, Bezier, Bezier curve number two. Yes, it is number two. So you can see here how it looks like. Oh, this is the loop. Hide this for a second. This is the loop I made. So it's made that it can exactly. Do like this, you can see it goes on. And also take this and duplicate it. It can loop through itself, so it can repeat in this way and then form a sweater or a sweater kind of uh, texture, textile. So, as you can see here in the geometry nodes, here it's all projected, all these loops. From the, I just dragged in the object, not the collection, the object, set it to uh, original position, so set it to 
relative position. Origin is just zero. Then we take uh, the normal of the phase because we offset the normal by this noise. So we take the normal position again. By that normal, we rotate them. We rotate the instances. Scale here. If you want, you can scale up. Yeah, that looks a little bit weird. You can make them smaller. I set them to 0 0.025. Rotation, as you can see here, like it takes the rotation of the fabric. That's, what, that's why I'm capturing the normal here. If we go on, here we have rotate instances. And we do that because we want a little bit of randomness. If I turn it off, you see that it's really straight. Rotate instances. Here I only rotate uh, by the z-axis. So I take a random value. I take a random between minus 2, minus 0.2 and 0.2. So a very small amount. So it gets a little bit of randomness there. Plug that into the rotation of the rotate instances. And then what we have here, we um, sample the nearest uh, nearest index of the face corner because we need that for uh, the UV map. To map that also for the, the shader. So we use a sample nearest, a sample index, and the face corner data of the vector of the normal. And then next up we set the material. Let's see what's happening here in the shader node. Here we have the material. In the material we have some uh, also noise which is happening on the, the knit. So on the, the thread actually. It's mixed here so you get a little bit here you can see that we use the texture data that we created in Photoshop. So we go here to rendering. This is actually the data that we're using to give the individual knit loops their color. So as you can see in the shading node, here we use an instancer. So it takes every instance and gives it the color of this texture. So here the UV map, the, that's the UV map that comes in. We set over here UV map. So we change it over here. So from the grid, we project it to the instances or else our instances would not get the color. So that's what's happening here. It's projected to the UV map or from the UV, UV map to the UV map. New positions, new vectors. If we go into shading, here you see it comes in as instances. And then it's scaled a little bit to make it fit exactly in the plane. You can see, we scale it up, scale it here. So it's offset a little bit. You can also animate it if you want to. And add also elements. Maybe snowflakes or droplets, or whatever you want. But here you can choose, find your own texture. Here, you can then choose it. It will project here as nits. So that's how the, the color works, of the shading from the geonodes. If we go here, we set this material with the knitting. Also, what's happening here is that we create hairs. So if we go in here, uh, we distribute. So first, we uh, realize the instances. So make all these uh, nits real. Then we project points onto them. As you can see, a lot of small points. And then we project instances on these points. And the instance is just an arc just a loop, transform it a little bit, so it's straight, straight up, and then we uh, make curve to mesh, so it has a thickness, like a hair, and then we project these instances, 
these are just the hairs it's really hairy really uh, itchy scratchy sweater and then we also give them the color of the instances so here so here are all the hairs with the color project that also to the uv maps data from the hairs will be lost so we have to put that in UV map as well and then we join them together so here we have the knit loops here we have the hairs this is what it looks like when they are joined joined for the viewer the sweater this is the pre-render so if we go into cycles we can see what happens Hairs, it's nice and hairy. If you play it, it's also hairy. A little bit uh, hard calculation, so it's quite slow. So that is how you create a basic uh, knitted sweater pattern. You can use this to make 3D. Uh, objects but you can also use it just as a Christmas card as I did so you can easily generate a Christmas card for all your loved ones uh, during the holidays so if you want it you can also just uh, get it on blender market uh, if you want to build it yourself this is the way to do it so uh, make something nice with it okay bye